Hundreds converge on the state capitol as teachers organize a rally to express their concerns about safety. That's after the shooting at East High School this week. I'm Mackenzie O'Keefe. The Denver Classroom Teachers Association called for the gathering on this day where Denver canceled classes to focus on students' mental health. Our Kennedy Cook spent her morning with teachers and students at the capitol, and Kennedy, no signs the anger is easing up. You know, Mackenzie, it seems like everyone is angry, or at least everyone wants to see something change as it pertains to gun reform in schools. Now, this morning at the Capitol, students and teachers marched to ag legislators to prioritize common sense gun safety laws. Now, they marched, they chanted, they stormed around the Capitol, and they handed out this flyer here, which is encouraging people to reach out to the governor's office for these gun violence prevention bills. Now, these gun violence prevention bills include the following. State Bill 23168, which would have victims access to justice. State Bill 23170 to expand Colorado's red flag law. State Bill 23169, which would raise the age to 21 to possess a firearm. And House Bill 231219, which would establish a three-day waiting period before someone could purchase a firearm. Now, another one of the bills which will be heard on the House floor today is the Extreme Risk Protection Order Petition. Now, this law would extend petitioning power to mental health professionals and educators and expand the tools available to our schools to prevent future violence to students and to others. Now at today's rally, we had the chance to speak with educators who say it's time to get serious about gun laws in schools. Our senators, our legislators need to get serious about passing serious gun reforms and as some of these signs have already said, protect teachers, students, their mothers, daughters, cousins, sisters, brothers, and not guns. Now, Mackenzie, we spoke with some students and teachers who said that they're not going to stop rallying and they're not going to stop speaking up until changes happen in school. And we saw where this movement first sparked from lots of pain and lots of fear. And we'll be sure to continue to cover this movement and see where it progresses. Live in Denver, I'm Kennedy Cook covering Colorado First. Thanks for the update, Kennedy.